Hello and welcome to another episode here on the Hard Life of Walter the Dog YouTube channel. This is a very difficult episode for me to make as I have to talk a little about a different one of our dogs, Georgia, and her journey and unfortunately not making it. Um, in Austria for a long time so we moved um, I already did in early July in mid July my wife and the dogs hit the road and made their journey from our home in New Mexico to first North Carolina to spend some time with family and then down to Atlanta and onto the flight from Atlanta first with KLM to Amsterdam and then onward with KLM to Vienna where I was going to pick some up. They did a health check of all the three dogs. Um, they all came back fine. Um, there were no issues at all. And then their journey started. We had contracted with a dog moving company, animal moving company in the Atlanta area to help us um, arrange for the transit, arrange for the cargo processing if you want. And um, we weren't given the best of instructions to be honest. There were some details that would have been good to know that we were given at the last minute or information that was said is in the system or in the documents we were supposed to read but it wasn't and then when we ask about it we we're told differently so it was it was a bit messy <clears throat> anyway um, at the last minute then it also turned out unfortunately that um, they hadn't checked the schedules and I actually had to go to Vienna a day early because KLM wasn't flying one of their planes into Vienna on a Saturday so I had to actually do all of this on a Friday Anywho, I got to the airport, uh, I got a rental car, and then first went to the Swissport handling agent at the airport, did all the paperwork, paid the fees, and then went over literally three buildings to customs, and at customs picked up all three of them. They all looked fine, they were in their cages, obviously tail wagging, happiness to, to see me. And from there we had an Airbnb in the Vienna area and I took some there and we kind of spent the evening um, and that's sort of where some of the issues started that I noticed that Georgia drank a lot and immediately threw it up then during the night she is an older dog she had some bladder issues in the past uh, she peed on the floor cleaned that up a few times um, but she seemed to be doing fine. We did some longer walks and it's sort of like I, we all assumed that it was just travel stress and anxieties and things of that nature. Well, <clears throat> we got to our home in Wells. My wife took the train. I drove the dogs and our baggage and it, again, seemed okay. We had some issues with her peeing in the house. We had some issues with her not making it down the stairs. To, to pee outside, um, but we very quickly started to notice that she was getting lethargic, she wasn't eating, she was drinking a lot, and um, so I had picked her up on Friday. On Monday, we started to talk like maybe we should take her to the vet. Um, I made an appointment for Tuesday, for, no, I made an appointment Tuesday to take her in Wednesday. There was a vet office just down the street from us and we were like okay let's go there uh, turns out at that evening that Tuesday evening my wife was like oh my god she is turning yellow and like her eyes were yellowing her jow jowls were yellowing her ears were yellow so I called that vet office and was like hey this situation really turned bad can I come early and they hung up on me so I called the second vet office and they were like, yeah, just come on over. We got a taxi, went over, um, they looked at her, did run a blood test and her, her liver temp 
her liver numbers were through the roof, like off the chart, like literally off the chart. They couldn't measure it. Um, so for the next couple of days, we took her in every morning. They gave her fluids. They ran numbers again. It seemed to stabilize with regard to her liver. But then on Saturday, the vet ran again the numbers and was like, okay, let's see what, what the situation is. And at that point, from the way she explained it, it sounded like there was internal bleeding. And uh, when you looked at her and you've seen some pictures here in the background, um, she was suffering. And at that point, it was for us a very difficult decision. But looking at her, she was ready to go. And we don't know exactly what happened, whether this was an injury she had a long time ago that's a trip exasperated, whether during her journey she got bumped, she, her crate kip fell in some form and that caused it. Um, we don't know. Um, it was a very difficult decision so shortly after um, all of them arriving in Austria to, to have this happen to us.